Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the web server for your Tuxedo keypad for your Honeywell Vista security system. Uh, so what I mean by this is uh, if you're on the same um, network, the same Wi-Fi network as the Tuxedo, then you can actually um, access the Tuxedo's interface from a web browser and control your Vista system that way, um, which may be, convenient, may be a convenient feature. Uh, there also is um, a port forwarding um, feature that you can use to uh, control it remotely when you're not on site, but um, we don't support that, um, so we're not going to get into that today. But um, I am talking about setting up the web server so that way you can use a web browser to control your tuxedo. You're going to basically get the old style tuxedo interface. I'll sh show you that once we get to it. Um, but the first thing we're going to have to do, we're going to have to set it up on the tuxedo because otherwise, if we go to do this um, without doing the configurations on the tuxedo, we'll get an error message. So we're going to set up a username and a password that we can use to uh, log in. So uh, we're starting at the main screen of the tuxedo here. And what we're going to do, we're going to click the settings icon at the bottom here. And then uh, I do want to show you system Wi-Fi. Uh, you do have to make sure you're on a Wi-Fi network. Um, so make sure you go ahead and do that. We're already connected to Alarm Grid, so we're fine on that. Um, but what we're going to do um, once we're back at the screen, we're going to choose um, account. And then this is where we can create a username and a password. So I'll do a username. I'll do uh, Michael for the username. And this is just um, on a, a private server, so it's not like you have to make like some name that nobody's used before. It can be anything, really, um, just something that you can use to log in. So I'll do Michael. And um, then we'll just do, um, we'll do password1 for the, the test. Um, and actually, I need a capital letter, so I, I will do a capital P. And then password, and then we'll do the number one. So password one, that's what we'll use. And I'll press the check mark. And then um, what we're going to do, we're just going to press the Save button down here in the bottom right. And then it, it's, you see we get confirmed, setting saved. Um, so now I'm going to go into System Info, and I'm going to take a note of the IP address on there, um, because we're going to use that when we um, uh, access it through the web browser. So, so now what I'm going to do, now that I have the IP address and I've created the, the account, the username, and the password, I'm actually going to go on a tablet, and I'm going to show you what it looks like at, when we log into it. OK, as you can see, we're connected to the Alarm Grid network. I just wanted to point that out. Um, so we're going to go home here. We're going to open up uh, Google Chrome. And now we're going to enter in uh, the IP address uh, that was on the tuxedo. I do have to pull it back up here. It went away from me. Um, but OK, so we're going to enter in. Um, and remember, we're on the same network as the tuxedo. That's how this is working. Uh, so we're going to do uh, 192 and then point 0.168.1.119. Point point and then we're going to go to go. And you're going to get um, uh, your connection is not private message. That's it's very normal. Uh, just choose advanced. And then you can proceed to it. Um, that's completely normal. You're, you're pretty much always going to get that. There's no way, way around it. You're going to get that. And now you see we're at this login screen uh, for the Honeywell Home Tuxedo. So I'm going to enter in my username, which was Michael. And then we're going to enter in uh, the password, which was password1 with, P, with a pa capital P. And then we're doing password and 1. And we're going to log in. And you see we get on the same screen as what you would get on an old school tuxedo, um, an old um, Honeywell tuxedo, tuxedo touch. Um, so now I can control the system the same way. I, I have the security functions. Um, if I wanted to um, arm a partition or arm the system, I, I can go ahead and do that. Um, now, um, I, I can control automations devices from here. Um, one thing I do want to mention, you can't um, exclude or include uh, new automation devices in the Tuxedo web interface, um, which that's actually going to be a different video that we're going to do in a little bit. But um, no, you can't, you can't add or exclude devices using this method. But you can pretty much uh, control your system however you want, like just as if you were using the Tuxedo. Uh, there's also a different theme you can use that um, is better for mobile. Um, they have that as well. Um, but you see the, the regular theme that I went back to just now. It, it's um, pretty much just like an old school Tuxedo, but that's how you can control your system. Uh, from this uh, web server. So that's how you access it. So that is how you set up the web server for a Honeywell Tuxedo keypad. Uh, if you have any questions about the Tuxedo or about alarm monitoring services, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.